Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jim Johnston. And I'm Curtis Sheehan. A winning basketball team can mean big money for a university, but a string of losses can be devastating. Even Edition's Rob Gilson is here with a look at how SIU's basketball losses are being felt beyond the scoreboard. The recent struggles of the Saluki men's basketball team have decreased attendance and revenue. I took a look at how these deficits have affected the athletic program. The Saluki men's basketball program has always played a prominent role at SIU and in the Southern Illinois community. Achievements like six straight trips to the NCAA tournament have helped the program bring in revenue to the university. Recently, times have changed. The Salukis have not had a winning season for the last four years. And now, both attendance and revenue have dropped heavily. Deputy Athletic Director Chet Savage says the tough economy has also affected the program. We saw a little decline in 09-10. We saw a little steeper decline prior to this season with our season tickets. Uh, our individual game revenue is another, the other number to look at. Um, same story. We had pretty good revenues um, leading up to 05, 06, and then we had a spike in 07, 08, and then kind of a, a, a steady decline, um, 9, 10, uh, here 11, 12. For this season, SIU has the lowest average home attendance in the Missouri Valley Conference. Last night against Creighton, there were 3,500 fans. Savage says even a big rivalry is not bringing out the home crowd. In you know, 2003, 4, 5, 6, 7, you know, certainly that's a big rivalry game. That's a nationally televised game. doesn't matter what day of the week you're playing on. Um, you know, we're looking at being in a sold-out or close to sold-out situation. So, you know, no doubt when individuals are um, making decisions whether or not to come over to the arena, um, you know, they're, they're taking those into account. The final Saluki men's basketball home game will be on February 25th when they host Northern Iowa. Curt and Jimmy, back to you. Thanks, Rob. 